You may already know that you can use a JavaScript debug terminal to easily debug server or console style JavaScript applications, but you can also use them to easily debug code that's run client side in a browser on a user's machine. To demonstrate this, here I have a simple React app created using Create React App, and say that we actually wanted to debug the JavaScript that is served up to the user and it is run on the web page. All we have to do to start is go to the terminal view here and say, create JavaScript debug terminal. So I'll go create a new JavaScript debug terminal. Now I'm just going to start up the test server here. So I'll run npm start. It's going and starting this test server. And I'll just go back to VS Code here. So you can see that the test server is properly running. Now, by default, VS Code will not try to automatically attach to the page because it doesn't really know that that is our intention here. To signal that we do want to attach and actually start debugging the client-side JavaScript in the browser, all we have to do is click on one of the links here. So I'm going to go to the link for localhost 3000, and then I'm going to go and uh, open this link by holding down Command and clicking. And this tells VS Code that we are interested in debugging the client-side code. And you can see that, sure enough, it is now in the browser loading localhost 3000. And then if I go back to VS Code, you can see that it's actually hit the breakpoint that I created in app.js. So again, this code is actually running in the browser, and now we are debugging it in VS Code. To verify that this is actually the browser, we can go over to the debug console here. And I can type something like document. And you can see that, sure enough, I have the document object here. So we are indeed running in a browser environment. Pretty much all of the debugging tools, so breakpoints, stepping, uh, variable inspection, all of those things should just work in the uh, browser here or in the debugger here. So you get a nice debugging experience directly within VS Code. And when we're done with this, for example, I'll just hit continue here. You can see that now the page is successfully loaded. So that's a quick look at how you can use JavaScript debug terminals to debug client-side JavaScript that's run in a user's browser. Again, we didn't need any configuration. All we had to do is create a JavaScript debug terminal and then make sure that a link to the site we were interested in debugging was printed, and then we were able to attach to it automatically just by opening that link in VS Code and start debugging.